All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. So many of you guys want to know if you can turn a hoe into a housewife. First of all, the term hoe, that's a pejorative, you guys. I don't like using that term. You know, when I was going to school from elementary school, going to junior high school, going to high school, then going to college, you know, we never used these terms on any girl, even if the girl was very promiscuous, we just never used those terms. And why do I hear that so much? You know, it just seems like that's a lot of the nonsense out there. And that's coming from guys that don't know how to meet women, as well as many of the content providers out there are whining and complaining about that same thing. And they're just feeding you guys all the negative energy about this whole turning a hoe into a housewife. Why would you even want to go there? First of all, with all the women out there, the access to all the women. And I've mentioned too in other videos, if you don't feel you don't have the pool of ladies that you're looking for in your area, then change your zip code. Get out of that comfort zone. But why would you want to even go there? Okay, so it's like a needle in a haystack, you guys. You can't change a woman. You can't change anybody that does not want to be changed. You got to understand that. Now I'm going to give you an example here. I have a buddy of mine. We used to go back and forth to Vegas for years for business purposes. This was in the, in the nineties and the early 2000s. He met a girl at one of the hottest strip clubs in Las Vegas. And he thought she was the needle in the haystack because why? Well, she had a college diploma. She graduated, I believe, from Sacramento, uh, University of Sacramento, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what? I told him that you can't take a girl out of that environment and expect her to change unless she wanted to. Now, she bucked from the moment. Now, he's quite wealthy, so he pulled her out of that environment and he showered her with all the gifts and, I mean, anything that most girls dream about particularly girls that work in those type of clubs. But from there on, you guys, it was nothing but drama. And I advised him about that. Now, are there exceptions to the rule? Absolutely. Can, is it possible? But it's not probable, you guys, where you're gonna meet a girl. Why would you even wanna go there? So always look at yourself. Why are you meeting a girl in that type of venue, in that type of place? Why not meet a girl doing something more organic, you have a better chance of maximizing and optimizing a fantastic relationship. So first of all, don't be so concerned of turning a hoe into a housewife. So keep that in mind, look in the mirror and say, why am I choosing this type of girl that I am labeling as a hoe, right? Just because a girl wants to have a lot of sex or had a lot of sex, you're labeling, labeling her a hoe? I disagree with that. That's more of a pejorative, and that comes from a lot of, if you want to call it these beta males, that's the new term out there, right? Guys that generally can't meet or don't have the experience to meet hot girls or girls, period. And this comes from a lot of the content providers too, because I've seen out there and I've been listening to videos of these content providers that provide this type of content and complain about this. So let's start with you guys. Don't go out or don't seek out girls that are in that type of environment. Now, going back to my buddy, all right, his life has been full of drama. He ended up marrying this girl, okay? Now, his life ended up being full of drama. Now, the first year of him dating this girl, she had two Johns on the side that she met at this strip club in Las Vegas. So she kept that from him. He never knew about it until one day he just decided to check on her phone. And so he found out that she was still seeing these guys. Now these guys were much older at that time. They were probably about 15, 20 years older. One was a doctor and the other one was a lawyer. And she was driving a Mercedes Benz. So, well, anyways, long story short, that wasn't her car. It was the doctor that was paying for the car. The doctor was married as well. So you see the drama behind this and how it builds. I mean, where is the solid foundation of any relationship? Well, he continued on and he decided, you know, I can change this girl. Well, you know, she never gave any indication of wanting to change. 
or better herself. So just because she had that college diploma, that was he, that's what he was basing this all on. So there's a lot of nonsense out there, you guys. Why even go there? Why even be concerned whether you could turn a hoe into a housewife? Whether she's a working girl, working professional, or she works in a strip club, she's a call girl, escort, why even go there? But if you do, remember, you can't change anybody. If this is a lifestyle she's used to and she chose to be part of, well, so be it. Accept it and don't ever try to change her, otherwise you're gonna drive yourself crazy. And I've seen guys go nuts over this, but it's your fault. Look always in the mirror. Why are you choosing this type of woman with there being so many women out there? And if you go to the right places, you could meet some high value, if you want to call it, women that are, that are achievers, that are attractive, good looking, sexy, and that are achievers. And you have a you can have a goal with a relationship if that's what you're looking for. But for you know having fun one night stands or whatever, if you're in that stage in your life as a dude, then fine, so be it. These venues can, I mean, they could benefit you, all right? You always have to look at, at a form of entertainment and that's it. And that's all you should look for at these venues. But again, just because a woman is promiscuous and she's had a lot of partners as well, it does not mean, let's just say she's not even working in these environments, right? She's just a college girl, but she's, you know, been sleeping around, filling things out for herself, you know, filtering out guys, trying things out. There's no reason why you should call her a hoe. That's just a weakness in men. Because so many guys out there are so fragile. You know, when my day going, going to school, we never called women that slept around. We just always looked at it as a benefit. You know, you want to be part of that action if she's giving it out that freely. But you know, a lot of the girls I know and I stayed in contact over the years that did sleep around, they ended up being quite loyal wives, definitely. But you know who they end up hooking up with? Was, you know, a man with a strong character and personality. If you want to call it an alpha male, a guy that knew himself, that was a good leader. So she was able to be herself. And you know what? She had great respect. When a woman has respect for you, then comes the love, you guys. And she never stepped out on this guy ever. So, you know what, you guys? Get off all the nonsense out there, all the stupidity out there that I hear. Get on with your life. Focus on yourself. Become the best version of who you are. And don't be too concerned whether you want to pivot or shift or transition or change a girl, her being the supposed hoe, into a housewife right? Or even if she's just a promiscuous girl. If she's promiscuous and you meet her that way, live with it. Be man enough. Have some webbles, man. Be man enough to either stand up or walk away. You can't change anybody. And my buddy is the perfect example. And I've seen this numerous times with numerous guys that have used these outlets, whether they're escorts or what have you out there, strip joints and all that, pulling that girl out of that, that environment and then marrying her, can it work? But it's a needle in a haystack, you guys. It's like winning the lotto, right? It takes a certain mindset for a woman to work in these environments. Are they exceptions of the rule? Absolutely, okay? So let's erase your brain with all this and being too concerned with the nonsense out there. Just go out there and live the best life possible. Focus on yourself, focus on your mental, physical and spiritual health, and just go for it. And quit listening to all this nonsense out there with all these nonsense content providers that are poisoning your brain and you're being concerned over all the stupidity out there. You gotta live life, life is short. You want stories to tell at the end of the day. So hopefully this helps you guys readjust and recalibrate your mindset over here because all that shit's in your fucking head. I just mentioned that in your uh, in, in the other videos before. So anyways, until the next one, you guys, take care and live the best life.